The Legacy of the Sith Marauders Warriors of Darkness Origins and Rise The Sith Marauders, fearsome and relentless warriors of the dark side, first emerged during the Great Sith War, a conflict that tore through the galaxy, pitting the Sith Empire against the Galactic Republic and the Jedi Order. Unlike their Sith brethren who delved into the arcane mysteries of the Force, Marauders were honed for combat, their existence centered around the mastery of battle. These warriors prioritized physical prowess and martial skill over the philosophical and mystical teachings of the Sith. The origins of the Sith Marauder can be traced back to the teachings of ancient Sith Lords who believed that sheer physical dominance and combat skill were as vital to the Sith cause as the dark arts of the Force. This belief was perpetuated by Sith academies that focused on creating perfect warriors capable of facing the Jedi in direct combat and prevailing through sheer ferocity and strength. The Treyos Academy and the Fall of Malachor V The Treyos Academy on Malachor V became the crucible for the creation of these dark warriors. This hidden and ancient Sith training ground was notorious for its harsh and unforgiving environment, designed to forge the strongest warriors from the most resilient of individuals. Here, countless Sith marauders were trained alongside other dark Jedi, each molded into a weapon of unparalleled destruction. Their training was brutal, involving constant combat drills, survival tests, and duels to the death. The Academy's teachings stripped away any remnants of weakness and mercy, leaving behind only a singular focus on combat and victory. During the height of the Sith Triumvirate's power, led by Darth Treya, Darth Nihilus, and Darth Sion, the Sith Marauders reached their zenith. They were deployed as the vanguard in many battles, their aggressive tactics and unyielding nature making them a formidable force. These warriors were often armed with dual lightsabers, a fighting style that emphasized offense and lethality. Their presence on the battlefield was enough to turn the tide of many conflicts in favor of the Sith. However, their dominance was not to last. The Treyas Academy, and with it the Sith Marauders, faced a significant challenge in the form of Mitra Surik, also known as the Jedi Exile. Mitra, a former Jedi Knight and a general during the Mandalorian Wars, ventured into the heart of the Treyas Academy. Her mission was clear, to confront and defeat Darth Treya, her former mentor. As she carved her way through the Academy, Sith Marauders fell before her lightsaber. These battles were intense, with each Marauder pushing Mitra to her limits. By the end of her assault, the once formidable force of Sith Marauders lay decimated, along with the Sith Assassins and Masters who had called the Academy home. This marked a significant blow to the Sith Triumvirate and a turning point in the Jedi Civil War. The Great Galactic War, the Sacking of Coruscant. The legacy of the Sith Marauders did not end with the fall of Malachor V. During the Great Galactic War, which erupted several centuries later, these warriors once again emerged from the shadows. The Sith Empire, having rebuilt its strength in secret, launched a surprise attack on the Galactic Republic, initiating a conflict that would span decades. One of the most devastating strikes of the war was the sacking of Coruscant, the Republic's capital and the heart of the Jedi Order. Sith marauders played a critical role in this audacious assault. Their presence on the battlefield was unmistakable as they engaged in ferocious combat with the Jedi defenders. The Marauders' ability to wield dual lightsabers and their unyielding ferocity made them formidable opponents, cutting through Republic soldiers and Jedi alike. Their ruthless efficiency and sheer combat prowess left a trail of destruction and chaos in their wake. This attack not only showcased the might of the Sith Marauders, but also dealt a significant psychological blow to the Republic and the Jedi Order. The New Sith Wars and the Brotherhood of Darkness as the galaxy plunged into the chaos of the new Sith Wars, the Sith Marauders found new purpose under the Brotherhood of Darkness, a Sith organization led by Lord Khan. This era saw the establishment of training academies on planets such as Hanukkah, Gentes, and Gamor. These academies continued the tradition of forging warriors whose skills in combat far outweighed their interest in the philosophical or mystical aspects of the Force. The Brotherhood of Darkness believed in the unity and strength of the Sith through martial prowess. As such, they invested heavily in the training of Sith marauders, recognizing their value on the battlefield. 
The marauders trained in these academies were subjected to intense physical and combat training, designed to push their bodies and minds to the limits. The harsh environments of their training grounds further tempered their resolve, ensuring that only the strongest and most resilient emerged as true Sith marauders. During the new Sith Wars, Sith marauders were deployed in numerous battles against the Jedi and Republic forces. Their aggressive tactics and fearsome reputation often demoralized enemy troops, giving the Sith an edge in many engagements. Despite their success, the constant warfare took a toll on both sides, leading to a prolonged and brutal conflict. Sith Marauders in the Jedi Civil War The Sith Marauders' fearsome reputation was immortalized in various holocrons and records. Notably in the game Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic the Seku, the Sith Lords, players encounter these deadly warriors as they navigate the perils of Malachor Fuf. Here, Sith Marauders serve as relentless adversaries, their lightsabers clashing with those who dare to challenge the darkness of the Treyas Academy. These encounters highlight the Marauders' emphasis on combat skill and their relentless nature. In the Sith Lords, players who embrace the dark side can choose to become a Sith Marauder, channeling their power into sheer combat dominance. This prestige class is available to characters who reach level 15, and it emphasizes physical strength, combat skill, and resilience over force abilities. The Sith Marauder class corresponds to the Jedi Weapon Master on the light side, highlighting the dichotomy between the two philosophies. Both classes focus on battle over philosophical or force mastery, making them formidable in direct combat. Modern Interpretations and Continuing Legacy In the modern era of galactic history, the Sith Marauder has evolved but remains a symbol of combat mastery. In the Star Wars The Old Republic MMO, the Sith Marauder is an advanced class for the Sith Warrior. Specializing in dual lightsabers, they embody the legacy of Naga Sato, a dark lord of the Sith whose path was one of unrelenting aggression and power. Players can explore three distinct skill trees, Carnage, Annihilation, and Fury, each enhancing different aspects of their combat abilities. Carnage focuses on swift, powerful attacks, enabling marauders to deal massive damage in quick succession. Annihilation emphasizes sustained damage over time, utilizing a combination of bleeding effects and relentless assaults to wear down opponents. Fury enhances the Marauders' ability to harness their anger and hatred, fueling their attacks and making them even more deadly in combat. These skill trees allow players to tailor their Marauder to their preferred combat style, whether it be quick strikes, sustained damage, or rage-fueled onslaughts. The Republic counterpart to the Sith Marauder is the Jedi Sentinel. While the Sentinel also emphasizes combat, their approach is more balanced, integrating force powers with their martial skills. This ongoing balance between light and dark, combat and philosophy, is a testament to the enduring struggle between the Sith and the Jedi. Conclusion The Sith Marauders have carved a bloody path through the history of the galaxy. From their origins in the Great Sith War to their modern incarnations, these warriors exemplify the Sith philosophy of power through strength and combat. Their evolution over millennia has seen them serve as the vanguard in numerous conflicts, their ferocity and combat prowess leaving an indelible mark on the galaxy. Whether hidden in ancient academies or fighting on the front lines of galactic wars, the legacy of the Sith Marauders continues to inspire fear and awe. Their story is one of relentless pursuit of power through combat, a testament to the enduring power of the dark side. As long as there are battles to be fought and wars to be waged, the Sith Marauders will remain a formidable presence in the annals of galactic history.